Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Welcome to the Light Space. Your heart is the most powerful part of your body. It has tremendous intelligence and knows more than you can imagine. Cultivating a strong sense of intuition will be one of the greatest practices you can master in life, which comes from quieting the mind and listening to your heart space. The heart is approximately 60 times greater electrically and 5,000 times stronger magnetically than the brain. It also includes a system of 40,000 neurons, which some researchers call the heart brain. The more you listen to it, the greater your sense of intuition will become. Your heart will never steer you wrong. You will eventually have so much trust in your intuition that you'll spend hardly any time fretting over whether you made the right decision or not. Over time, you will intuitively know what the right thing to do is and act upon it swiftly. It's like being guided by a higher energy, one you can totally rely on. It will of course lead you way outside your comfort zone, which is where our heads can get in the way sometimes. But courage like anything can become second nature with enough practice. Of course, it isn't about ignoring your brain altogether, but creating balance and making your heart the dominant force in your everyday life. With this practice, you can begin to initiate the mastery of your heart-mind connection. When you act upon your heart's guidance and give it your absolute best, you can rest knowing you did the right thing and as best you could. The rest is up to God, as they say. If you don't get exactly what you wanted the first time, it doesn't necessarily mean you made a mistake. It just means it's part of your growth before the real thing comes along. The past doesn't exist and the future hasn't happened yet. Live in the present and your depression and anxiety will start to fade away. When you have a keen sense of intuition, you will learn how to go after your ambitions and not fall too hard when you fail along the way. If you can learn to stay in the moment and listen to your heart with a quiet mind, you will have harnessed two of the most powerful practices imaginable and therefore enjoy the greatest that life has to offer. But living in the present isn't easy. It's a long, hard discipline that takes much time to master. It requires constant mindfulness at first, but can become second nature over time. Whenever you find yourself drifting off, thinking about the past or the future, use the command, be here now, with conviction. Drifting off and indulging in fantasies may be appealing, and indeed serves a purpose up to a certain point, but the present moment almost always bears the greatest joy. Think less, feel more. I've mentioned the power of intuitive dreams in some of my other videos, but what about daydreams? Believe me, these aren't just totally random. Pay attention to your next few daydreams. Your intuition might be trying to tell you something. Sometimes we experience intuition as a faint feeling or flash of imagery. Follow it, no matter how faint. You'll be surprised how far the smallest nudge can lead you. When you learn to trust your intuition, you will learn to trust yourself, and life becomes very easy. You know you're always being led to the highest possible path. It just takes practice and bravery. The biggest challenge most of us face is getting outside of our comfort zone, but this too can become second nature with enough practice. If you can be one of the rare people who is comfortable with being uncomfortable, life will be a fun adventure for you. Spend time meditating and focusing your energy towards your heart space. Listen and see what pops up. It just takes practice. The guidance will become clearer and clearer over time. Try this experiment. Write down a question on a piece of paper, one you'd really like an answer to. Spend one minute quieting the mind, then without thinking, write down the answer. Don't think, just write. See what comes up and keep focusing on how your heart feels when writing. With enough practice, you'll be amazed at the answers that pop up. Some would say this is a direct communication with the God Force energy that lives within us, like talking to God. This practice has provided me with much guidance over the years and many profound answers that have assisted me along my journey. The next time you're stuck with a decision to make, imagine one outcome than the other, whilst listening to your heart. One choice should generate a greater feeling from within than the other. You'll know which one is the right choice if you listen closely enough. Your heart wants you to grow, not seek the easiest route possible. So be prepared to step into the unknown, where the real fun happens. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next video.